spiritual flow that's waiting for us if we change our attitudes uh, via these insights that we're discussing. I'm sorry, did you did, did I lose you? <laughs> well, I was just going to say we're we we're trying to get into number eight, which is the oneness intention, uh, and. Uh, you know, here we are, we've gotten into this flow, we're listening to our intuitions, but yet some chance encounters that we feel, or maybe just daily encounters with people, we feel aren't deep enough, you know, they're not spiritual, there's not this juice uh, with some people. Even if we think we're trying, you know, we feel a synchronicity happening, but yet we can't get through uh, the, the effort or, of communication, you know, the problems that deal with communication with people. And here's here's where this eighth step comes in. It's called the oneness intention. And it's very simple. All you have to do is affirm, which is a, which is a prayer, that I'm, speak, I'm going to speak and am speaking to the highest self of the person that I'm interacting with. Now, that's their self that's fully intuitive and fully on the spirit, would be on a spiritual flow, wants to be on a spiritual flow. And you just make that affirmation and that intention. And you talk to the person's soul self, if you want to look at it that way. Higher soul awareness. You know, forget all the things they're saying that might be touching all your buttons. You know, that might be... Um, uh, you know, pushing, you're getting, you know, uh, you know, negative reactions in yourself. Forget that. Just talk over that and keep talking to the person's soul self. Now, when we're all, we all have one mind, right? And, and, and at this point, we have to realize it. There's just one mind, okay? And when we're with two or three people and we spend uh, three or four days with them, we'll find ourselves using words or phrases that they use. They'll be finishing our sentences, and we'll be re realizing before they're through with the sentence what they're trying to say. Uh, communication, just by proximity and connection, gets better because there's just one mind. We're all plugged into one mind, and uh, we we can when we when we merge with each other in a workplace or in a marriage or wherever, we start to think, act. Uh, to, to a certain extent, we influence each other. The, the impact that we have on another person is as if our attitude toward life and knowledge about life acts on them to bring them into that same knowledge and way of dealing and acting. <laughs> so, how we, you know, that's another, that's another important part of this because. You know, we have an influence on people just by walking down the street, just by sitting beside them in a restaurant. If we never say anything to them, they tend to be more like us. We tend to be more like them. Ooh, so we have a direct impact. Absolutely. And to be aware of this uh, impact. And if yeah. we do it consciously, we have an even greater impact because that person, you've decided to be one with their higher self. Now, don't be one with their ego because… Then you'll start swearing and using curse words like they do or something. <laughs> and, you, you, <laughs> or the other way around, they'll start cursing and and, <laughs> and then you pick it up. Well, you know, it, and, and it makes sense, doesn't it? Well, it does. Especially you know, we're all trying to be more one in the human experience. That's what history is all about: mm -hmm. this evolution of consciousness toward more oneness and unity. Uh, you know, if you just take the symbolism of the Bible, we fell from grace. And now we're trying to recapture that unity with ourselves and with God. That's, that's the, in summary, the whole purpose for history and why we're here. Uh, and now I can jump up and down and talk on radio shows like this because I think all the information of how to do that or how to engage in that historical mission that we all have, every generation, then another generation, it all can be done now consciously. We know that the 12... Uh, openings to this greater spiritual consciousness. Mm -hmm. We just have to start to practice them and do it. So it's a recovery operation. We're recovering ourselves. Well, yeah. yeah, We're downloading. I, I like to use the word downloading. You know, we downloading. just have a part of our possibility. You know, We download the rest of our consciousness, what amounts to our spiritual intelligence. Mm 
we become smarter, wiser, uh, more strategic, functionally, uh, uh, successfully strategic in our lives because we allow ourselves to be guided by higher intelligence that is being downloaded into ourselves. So this is where all the juice is. It can't, this, you know, nothing can compare to this. Nothing the ego loves to do that you, you know, work your, you know, work hard, 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 then uh, you go do something that makes you feel happy in life or you think it makes you feel happy in life. None of that at last, right? What we're describing here lasts. It's the spiritual juice, the mm. connection with the rest of our spiritual self, with the divine energy that is a part of us and we're a part of it. It's oneness. So, it, but a, a, a key is simply know that is to use it in individual interactions with people. We're trying to be a synchronicity, helpful, synchronicity to another person. You want to talk to the person's soul about it, mm -hmm. their higher self about it. And listen, the intention itself is creates miracles. So you don't have to worry about what am I going to say to this person. You'll It'll come to you intuitively because you've already been developing your intuitive guidance because you always have asking yourself, how can I be a, how can I be helpful to this person? So you're stepping back, no? Are you, we're, we're making a very conscious effort to step back, open up, to allow this spiritual communication to happen. Yeah, but we'll we'll be given. I mean, it'll come as what say to the other person if we're, you know, if we're seeking to cultivate that. Just have the intention, and the rest will come to you in terms of intuitive knowingness about how to really help that person, how, can, how to be a synchronicity for them at this point, wherever they are in their lives. So that, this is a discovery that, and listen, I have to say this over and over again, I'm not making this stuff up. I'm, I'm just reporting what people are coming to realize all over the world. Uh, this is not James Redfield's secret 12 insights. <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> You know, the reason that there's seven or eight years, I've said this before, seven or eight years before each of my books in the Selfing series is I had to wait, try to understand what people are already doing so that I could report that as an insight that the culture, human culture, was, was having. And thank so, you for that, by the way. Well, you know, that's yeah, the way I have the most fun, you know, that I could possibly <laughs> have. I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> um, and the, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you know, I have a life where I go out and seek this information and then report it, and it's the most fun I could certainly ever have um, in my life. All the other things that I would, you know, my ego wanted to do instead of that couldn't even compare to this, obviously. Hmm. So that's true for everybody. By the way, you know, and it's not about I looking pain or any of that. It's about the thrill, and the sense of expression of being something as a part of the evolution of human consciousness that helps bring consciousness to the law. It helps in some way, even if it's to to you know create a restaurant that gives the most nurturing food you can put together. Uh, any anything that helps. Uh, is 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 where we can find a spiritual place to do that because we'll we'll feel we'll just gravitate toward that. The synchronicity will lead us toward doing that. We just have to forget thinking it's about something else. It this is all life is about if you want to be successful, prosperous, and happy. And again, service is the key. Just live for that. Uh, the other person to you. You know, but but in, anyway, the, the the key is to say to yourself, I can be one with this person. We can get to a deep conversation, and and the other effect of that is the person that lives in their ego, and you're talking to their higher self, they'll pop. Their brains are designed to pop into this higher self mindfulness. Oh, I like and the sound of that. I, I enjoy yeah. that. Yeah, it's reality. And you can experience it. You'll see their face change. Their whole countenance will change. Uh, and they suddenly experience a higher self-connection for the first time ever, especially with kids. That's all you have to do. 
and this is not feigning. I mean, you're really honestly talking to their higher self. And, and this is really challenging uh, when people know you so well. They know all your hot buttons, and they're, they're doing their mm-hmm. best to, to bring you down. And uh, so you're staying locked, you're staying committed, focused on their higher self and only talking right. to that person, allowing the inspiration to come at that moment. And you know, you know how it works. Whenever you grow, the people that want you to be the way you were yesterday are not going to be happy always. So you have to practice on the, the newer people coming into your life until you really get good enough to say, this is who I really am to your uh, brother-in-law and your your you know, friends at work. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, you do it because it's the most fun. It liberates you, and you'll know what to say if you're mm-hmm. authentic mm-hmm. and you're honest and say, "Well, I, this is what I'm doing now." Mm-hmm. And then, and, and then, then they'll say, "Oh yeah? Well, let me see." <laughs> but your life shouldn't be dependent on any of them. If it is, then you've got a control drama going on with them. Yeah, and that needs to be eased and, and you know withdrawn from anyway. Yeah, good. So 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 they they have a purpose, uh, if nothing else, to identify your control dramas, which, by the way, I I'm finding in my life new ones popping up or uncovering over a period of time. Yeah. Well, you know we have <clears throat> we use them all. You know we're not we. You know, we've watched TV. We know how to use them all. Mm -hmm. One is usually the most deep-seated, and it came from our early family experience. But all that's in the Celsius costume. People can read that uh, and and know that they can let those go because the juice is in the synchronistic flow that will take you into all these things we've been talking about. Which brings us to the ninth. The emerging yeah. culture, or the the or I'm sorry, the opening of the senses. That's right, uh, because I think that's what it feels like, really, at the personal level. Uh, now, as soon as you get into this synchronistic flow to this point, you can realize that humanity is imperfect, but we're going somewhere, and what we're going to is something we can begin to experience more and more of, and that is living in a heavenly sort of life. Now, all these people say life is hell and then we die, you know, is a, you know, that's a a lament of the ego. Doing what we're talking about, you go into a place where everything sensually, and I don't mean, I don't mean, uh, I mean that is through the senses. (laughs) Yeah, I understand. Becomes... (laughs) becomes more beautiful, more heaven-like. You know, you look at a sunset and you're almost breathless. Not because you haven't seen a sunset like that before, but because you're looking at it in, with new eyes. It's so beautiful you can't barely talk. Uh, same thing with trees and, and anything. You could be walking through a, a slum or a, a dump, trash dump. But if, but so I'm not talking about judging what you're seeing. I'm talking about seeing everything is beautiful, no matter what it is. And that doesn't mean you approve of it. It means you are seeing just as a, as a, a matter of heightened perception, everything more beautiful. And that includes people. And, and what we realize is that, you know, at the spiritual level, you know, uh, heaven is right here. We just are evolving toward it. And a lot of that is perception. So we know that we're moving toward a heaven on earth situation, uh, not just figuratively, or uh, but as as a real being in a real place of incredible beauty and spiritual uh, uh, sort of uh, wholeness. Hmm. Um, and and you know enough of, that can enough can be said about it. That's just, that is a matter of cultivating beauty on your own. As mm-hmm. part of this, so you'll you'll realize that the that the synchronicity and the flow is guiding you toward heightened spiritual perfection, and that means tasting things more fully, 
that means uh, sensing every, you know, 